Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Pastor Rick Utzi from Maranatha in Plain City, Ohio. This past week, SpaceX uh, launched their next generation Starship rocket and it went up okay. I mean, the launch was fine. It flew like, I don't know, above 32,000 feet. And then they try and bring it in on a landing, like pretty much on the same pad on, from which it took off. However, on landing, it came. I was watching pictures, it kind of came down kind of crooked and it hit and exploded, right? And so most of us would look at that and say, man, that was a total failure. However, I don't think SpaceX necessarily thought it was a total failure, even though it crashed and burned, because it did do that. It was quite the explosion. But they're sending up these test rockets to, to figure out, right, what's the best way to, to not only send them off and launch them, but also for them to come back in a successful landing um, right there where it took off from. And, you know, in our Christian lives, um, when we believe in Christ, like we're a new creation, and sometimes things are going well, and everything's fine, but then, like all of a sudden, I mean, in an instant, our life can turn and change. Sometimes it, it you know, it's gradual, other times it's just like, hey, what happened? All of a sudden it feels like things like we've crashed and burned, like like just so much pressure and there's so much affliction and so many things that just overwhelm us and press us from outside and, and we're wondering how we're gonna get through it. And, and in 2 Corinthians 1, Paul addresses the situation because he was going through it. And he said in verse eight of 2 Corinthians 1, we don't want you to be unaware brothers and sisters. So he's writing to the church and he's saying, I want you to understand this. I want you to know this. I want you to know what I'm going through. He says, I don't want you to be unaware of our affliction that took place in Asia. It says we were completely overwhelmed beyond our strength so that we even despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death. And so Paul is basically saying when it, when it says we were completely overwhelmed, that's like, that's like you. there's so much weight on you that you can't push it off. Like it's like if, for those of you who work out, it's like you're at the gym and you're lifting weights and you're laying there on the bench and you're trying to push up that weight and you can't. You just can't push it, it's too much. You can't do another rep. All of a sudden the thing's coming down on your chest. What do you want at that time? You want a spotter, right? You want someone there who can assist you in, in helping ease that burden. But one of the things that Paul wanted people to realize was, it is normal to go through life and have crushing burdens come on you. He's saying, that happened to me. Not only was it crushing and beyond my own strength, I despaired. He said, he despaired of life itself. There was something then that happened inside of him in which he felt despair. Like he felt like, what is the point? How can I go on? Like, I can't do this on my own. That, that is what he's saying there. When I despaired of life itself, that, that he felt that he had received the sentence of death. So, so we shouldn't be surprised when these things happen. As a matter of fact, we should expect them. But, but listen to what he says. He says, so that we would not trust in ourselves. Like, when you despair for life itself, you're basically saying, I can't do it with my own resources. I can't do it in my own strength. I, I'm totally beyond what I'm capable of handling just on my own. And, and, and so, He's saying we would not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. He's saying we need to depend and bring God into the picture and bring God into the scope of what's happening. And that God is even there when it seems like we're crashing and burning. Like God is still in control. He's with us there. He says it's, you know, as you're there, know that in this life, that's going to happen. There's going to be suffering, but I'm there with you. And and Paul says, we need to trust in God, depend on God. Like we pivot, I think a lot of times we pivot between God and these, these difficult circumstances and, and God's wanting us to say, trust in me. You know, that's when Jesus says, come to me, right? Because, because his burden is light. It's because he's the master, he's, he's cleansed us and purified us and he's resolved all of our sin and so, in that sense, we don't have to worry about that kind of, of guilt that's weighing on us. And that we can trust him that if he 
did that for us, he will also be with us in all things and come alongside us to help us in resources. So here's the bottom line. It is normal to hurt in hard times. He hears us when we cry for help. He's near to us when we are crushed. And he wants us to trust in him and drink deeply from the fountain of living waters, Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on The Bottom Line.